What is happening? Welcome to another Pitcher Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, founder of Pitchless, and we're going to talk about Patrick Sandoval, who had 32 whiffs in his game against the Mariners on Sunday. That is ridiculous. Just to give you guys an idea, Dylan Cease has 29 whiffs on the season. That is the second highest of the entire year. Yes, Patrick Sandoval, this Patrick Sandoval, had 32 whiffs across 101 pitches. It's just unheard of. Yes, Jacob deGrom hasn't done that. No other pitcher has done that this season. So we're going to talk about him today. And what he throws is about a 94 mile per hour fastball, a changeup that earned 17 whiffs in this game, and a really good slider as well. He's always been one of those CSW guys. If you don't know CSW, that's called strikes plus whiffs. Um, really good indication of future performance. And he's always been one of those guys that can do that really well with his changeup and slider. We just really haven't seen his fastball come into play well. He often get punished on that pitch and would be really efficient. But he had 32 whiffs, and we're going to watch it today. Um, as we look at the sixth inning against the Mariners' this final inning. And uh, let's get started here. So we got Cal Seeger up. And against a lefty, you would think he'd be going a slider away. That's generally the approach. You see with a lefty on lefty, same thing with righty on righty, you think sliders away, especially lefty on lefty here against Seeger. And that's what he does here at, at 85 and gets that whiff. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. And what goes back to that slider again at 86, that's a really, really good location down and away. I mean, he's just staying away from Seeger. Trying to get him to roll over it, maybe swing over the top of it. Um, at 1-1. One, one. Okay, it looks like he tries to go with that changeup. You can kind of see a little bit of the, the horizontal bend. It is really tough, by the way, with this camera angle to see the difference between changeups and sliders. So I'm sure I'm going to get some of those wrong in this. Uh, but that's a wasted one. He wants that one back. And at 2-1, maybe he gets that fastball. If he's throwing it to Seeger, you can throw it down and away or up and in. Let's see what he does. No, he goes with his slider as well. You can see kind of the loop to it. Misses this terribly. This is a terrible swing from Seeger. I mean, he should not be swinging this whatsoever. If this is a fastball, this is coming in up here. I mean, he's just kind of banking that it comes lower down, and it just never does. <laughs> that's, that's a bad swing. It should be a 3-1 count. But now 2-2, two, two, you can throw that change up or slider down and away. And he does. Beautiful slider. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous down and away. I mean, from here to here, he ch changing the eye level, I guess. But that was a mistake. And, oh, that's perfect. He doesn't know if that's a strike or not. He has to swing through. Let's watch it one more time. That starts down the middle right here and it comes comes down and away. Beautiful. Beautiful pitch from Sandoval. Uh, all right. So now against a right-hander, I want to see him set up a changeup away by going a fastball up and in. Let's see what he does. No, he does a big breaker. I believe that's the curveball and not the slider. Gets it just enough. And I'm I'm totally cool with this. This is going to be a free strike every time. Really, you're going to see Murphy uh, be aggressive and swing at this first pitch curveball. And he just got it in there and missed it a little bit, but that's fine. Now that he uh, has the curveball established, you can probably think Murphy's looking for a heater. He's probably not going to get one. Changeup tries to get the the the, uh, the chase away. Not there. That's fine. It's been there all game. It's okay. Probably can go back to it a second time at 1-1, as Murphy may think that he's a earned his heater at this point. As he does. Oh, that's a change. This time looks very tasty. This pitch looks like it's coming in up and away. Falls down off the plate as Murphy again thinks that he's deserved a fastball to seeing two breaking balls and missed with that second one. Nope. Not there. So now one, two, you can throw it a third time. Just throw it more over the plate. Just throw it maybe down in middle. Throw it like here or so. You can probably get it. But it looks like they might be going for a slider inside or maybe even a fastball up. Oh, let's see if he pulls this off. Ah, he overthrew it. Oh, man. This is actually a really good setup pitch because essentially Murphy's been looking for a fastball the entire time. And uh, throwing that changeup away like this, maybe thinking that he's trying to stay away. And all of a sudden, you see a pitch coming inside. You think, oh, no, you just threw a changeup away. Of course, it's going to be a fastball. So he's going to be swinging at it, and then it would go into the dead zone. He would get that whiff every single time. Really frustrating to see him bounce it, as we don't really get to test our hypothesis. He had him. So let's see. Maybe they're going to try it again here at 2-2. No, they go with the heater this time. If you could throw 95 like that in the sixth inning, I mean, it just makes those secondary pitches even better. Oh, so exciting. I mean, that's look, that's right down the middle. I mean, a little bit elevated, but pretty much that is as good of a 2-2 pitch you can hope for. But the fact that he's throwing all secondary pitches and around the edges, uh, Murphy just isn't ready for it. Uh, and it's just a good indication of how Murphy is struggling to deal with Sandoval at the time. And if I'm Sandoval, I'm thinking here, if he can't hit my 95 down the middle like this, I can get him whatever I want on the edges if I'm able to throw a secondary pitch there. He is so on his back foot. He's so just 
uh, he can't handle this. So, so at 2-2, two, two, I'm thinking change up away. Our 83, it looked like it was a change up, and he missed it. Sandoval's a little upset. So here we go. 3-2 pitch. Sandoval has just been <laughs> running through this entire uh, entire game. One out. Throw the change up. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And there's the execution. Oh, look at this. 3-2 pitch. Murphy thinks he's earned another fastball. He threw it at 2-2. Two, two. He fouled it off. He just threw, tried to throw another change up at 2-2. Two, two. Bounced away. And you got to think, oh, he's not going to. You know, He's had such a good start that he's just going to throw a fastball and whatever. And this pitch is starting right here inside the zone. And it just falls away. Gorgeous. Gorgeous pitch from Sandoval. My God. Okay. So now, two outs. You have uh, Nottingham up. Maybe first pitch curveball again, just like he did against Murphy. Maybe he can just go his fastball. Honestly, he's feeling his secondary stuff so much that I don't think it's going to be a first pitch either. Yeah, it looks like he bounces either a slider or a, a change up there. Let's try it again. And he goes with a slider. And look, at this is the pitch that he wanted to throw 1-2 to Murphy um, that he bounced in the dirt. This is so deadly. Think of like Madison Bumgarner's cutters or Randy Johnson. Lefties going into righties. This is diving in. Also, think Garrett Cole to a left-hander. It's the same idea of that uh, down and in angles uh, slider. And with Sandoval, he is a little over the top, but it is a little bit more on from the left side going towards the right slightly cross body. This is such a deadly offering that Nottingham thinks he has a fastball. He can drive to left field, get the barrel down. And it just keeps falling underneath the bat. That's gorgeous. So 1-1. Now you can... Oh, I love this. They're going high heat now. So essentially the previous pitch, you had a, uh, a, a slider that started here and going down. And now you're playing with the idea that if you think it's a fastball on the inside edge, it could be that slider that's coming off of the plate. So you can freeze them here. If you hit the spot, it's either going to be called strike, a foul ball, or a, a, uh, or a whiff here. Like this is a free strike if you're able to hit that fastball. Oh, and he just missed it. Just missed it. I mean, you can maybe say that's a strike. Oh, it's, I mean, Nottingham took this thinking, like, no, no there's no way it's going to come back in the zone. Like, oh, oh man. So close. Trying to hit it again, it looks like. Couldn't do it. I mean, these are just missing. I mean, these are debatable strikes, you know. But he is failing a little bit away uh, with his fastball. Actually, we saw in the previous at-bat, too, the, the one that was supposed to be inside missed here. Um, something to know with Sandoval there. I mean, he's never been a premier fastball command guy, uh, Patrick Sandoval. It's always really been on the back of that changeup and slider. You can actually see the volatility in the start of inefficiency. Of he bounces some, but then when he when he executes them, they are just so so good. Uh, so three one. Oh my God, Nottingham! What are you doing? I mean, maybe it's just that's such a, a good indication of the filth that Sandoval has here, but that's ball for it. Sandoval got away with that one there. I mean, that's why it's Nottingham. You don't even know who Jacob Nottingham is, likely. that There's a reason why. Oh, uh, you can't swing at that, man. You can't. You can't do that. All right, so now, so now it looks like at 3-2, they're trying to do the fastball that they missed twice with inside the set bat. And, yeah, if he does execute that in the way that he's messing up down and away and looking there, this should work. Okay, so that's actually, again, a miss over the plate. I, uh, And because he's throwing that off-speed pitches a lot, I mean, it, it did indicate that he is looking for a fastball, and he did put a good barrel on it. Um, good catch there, but this needs to be inside. You know, that needs to be up and in. And he got it out of the, uh, you know, over the plate. That's more hittable than it should be. Uh, so just kind of, you know, if he's able to execute a secondary pitch with confidence there, Sandoval has that. Uh, he just didn't quite have it. But anyway, that is the sixth inning. That's it with Patrick Sandoval. That ended his day. I mean, look, the secondary stuff is amazing. Change up and slider, able to get whiffs consistently. The question is, is he able to get his fastball command? Is he able to... You know, not bounce those secondary pitches. It's better if he misses those around the plate as opposed to, I mean, we saw like at least five of those in the dirt. And that is the big give and take you're going to see from Sandoval. He did get into deeper counts than we would like in efficiency there. 
uh, from Sandoval that prevents him from being that legitimate ace. But you can see the upside here. If Sandoval is able to get any sort of consistency, we are going to see more 10 strikeout performances. We might not see 32 whiffs again, but we could be seeing double digit to 20 whiffs in other starts this season. I'm excited about it. Hopefully he can take what he did with this one and build upon it, have fewer waste pitches and really, really lean on the confidence of these pitches. But it's exciting stuff from Patrick Sandoval, who I call the Irish Panda. And I'm really excited to see more. But that's going to do it for today's edition of the Pitcher Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock. And as always, may your babbits be low and your strikeouts high.